Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have 1 over m into 1 over m equals to m over 4 into m over 4. And here we need to solve this problem for the values of m. So uh, the very first step we are going to do is first we need to multiply the numerator term with the numerator and denominator term with denominator. So it will be written as 1 multiplied by 1 divided by m multiplied by m equals to m multiplied by m divided by 4 multiplied by 4. Okay, so now you see here we have 1 times of 1 becomes 1, m times of m becomes m square. Similarly, here you have m times of m equals to m square and 4 times of 4 equals to 16. Okay, so further here we need uh, to cross multiply the terms. So now we multiply this m square with m square and we multiply this 16 with 1 and it will be written as 1 multiplied by 16 equals to m square multiplied by m square. So here we write this as m square multiply m square equals to m to the power of 4. Because here we apply this nice exponential law, if we have a to the power of m into a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m plus n. We need to apply this nice exponential law here. So according to this law here, bases are same. So we add these exponent and it is equals to m to the power of 4. And here you have 1 times of 16, 1 times of 16 becomes here 16. And now we move uh, this 16 in the left hand side and it will be written as m to the power of 4 minus 16 equals to 0. And now here we rewrite this equation as in this form. We write this m4 as m square and its whole square and we write this 16 as 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And after that here we need to apply the algebraic formula and we know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. Here we apply this nice algebraic formula to the above equation so that our above equation is written as m square minus 4 into m square plus 4 equals to 0. So here we just apply this nice formula to the above equation and after that here we uh, here we can just uh, we can just separately write these two factors equal to 0. We write it as m square minus 4 equals to 0 and in that case we write it as m square plus 4 equals to 0. So here in this case we need to move this minus 4 to the right hand side and it will becomes m square equals to 4. Similarly, in that case, we need to move this plus 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as m square minus m square equals to minus 4. Okay, so further, uh, we need to take the square root on both of the sides on both of these cases and it will be written as m square and its whole square root equals to square root of 4. Similarly, in this case, we have m square square root and square root of minus 4. So further, you see here, these two and square root are gone and we get this m is equals to plus minus. Uh, we know that the square root of 4 equals to 2. So these are the two uh, real solutions of the given equation. And now in order to find the other solutions, we need to solve this in this uh, uh, case so you see that this 2 and square root are gone and we get m is equals to here we know that a uh, negative sign becomes inside the square root so we write it as square root of 4 into square root of minus 1 and we know that square root of 4 equals to uh, 2 uh, here we write plus minus sign because we apply square root on both of the sides and we know that uh, square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so these are the two uh, complex roots of the given equation. So here we get the four roots of the given equation are written as in this form. And now here we have time to verify all of these four roots so that uh, now we uh, verify the uh, roots which we find here. So now here first we take m equals to plus 2 
uh, we substitute m equals to plus 2 into the given equation so the given question statement is 1 over m into 1 over m equals to m over 2 m over 4 into m over 4 okay this is our given question statement uh, and now we substitute this value of m on both of these sides so we write it as 1 over 2 into 1 over 2 equals to 2 over 4 into 2 over 4 so you see here uh, the when you multiply these two terms it will becomes 1 over 4 and here you cancel this term this is 2 times of 2 4 2 times of 2 4 and you get uh, 1 and here you 1 so 1 times of 1 becomes 1 and 2 times of 2 becomes 4 so both of the sides are equal it means that m equals to 2 satisfy the given question statement and now here uh, we need to verify the second root it is m equals to minus 2 so now we substitute m equals to minus 2 on both of these uh, uh, sides of the given equation okay so now we write it as uh, uh, 1 over minus 2 multiplied by 1 over minus 2 equals to minus 2 over 4 multiplied by minus 2 over 4. Uh, so this implies that uh, 1 over 4 because this is minus times minus become plus and 2 times of 2 becomes 4. Similarly in that case you have uh, this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we uh, get here minus times of minus become plus 1 and 2 times of 2 is 4. So here this uh, value of m is also satisfy the given question statement. And now we check the third value of m. It is m equals to 2 iota. So we substitute m equals to 2 iota into the given question statement and uh, it is written as 1 over 2 iota multiplied by 1 over 2 iota equals to 2 iota divided by 4 into 2 iota divided by 4 okay so further you see here uh, again we multiply numerator with denominator it is equals to 1 and denominator with the denominator so 2 iota multiply 2 iota becomes 4 iota square and in this case this is 2 times of 2 4 and 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and iota multiply iota equals to iota square and 2 times of 2 equals to 4. So here we know that the value of iota square equal minus 1 so it will becomes minus 1 over 4 similarly here you again get minus 1 over 4. So now you see that both of the sides are equal uh, it means that this uh, root also satisfies the given equation so now here we need to substitute m equals to uh, minus 2 iota okay so when you substitute m equals to minus 2 iota into the given equation it will be written as 1 over minus 2 iota and 1 over minus 2 iota equals to this is 2 iota over 4 and we write it as minus 2 iota over 4 multiplied by minus 2 iota over 4 so now you see here uh, this is 1 times of 1 becomes 1 and minus 2 times of minus 2 becomes plus 4 and iota multiply iota equals to iota square. So here you have minus 2 multiply minus 2 equals to 4 and iota multiply iota iota square divided by 4 times of 4 becomes 16. Okay so here you see that 4 times of 4 is 16 and the value of iota square equals to minus 1 so we get minus 1 over 4 equals to minus 1 over 4 so this shows that the value of m equals to minus 2 iota also satisfies the given question statement so this shows that m equal to minus 2 also be the root of the given equation so finally we say that these four roots are the solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos